So by now I'm sure you're all aware that Walmart is selling comic books. Marvel and DC are putting out these three packs and some of them have very exclusive covers in them. But if you're like me, you've got to be thinking, what other hidden gems could be in these packs? So today I'm going to be opening up six packs from Marvel and I'm hoping I get something good. So keep watching this video to see which issues are in here and if it's even worth the $10 cover price, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, AR Comics here, and today I'm going to be opening up six Marvel comic book packs from Walmart, but before I open up any of these, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I drop weekly comic book content that includes upcoming book releases, speculation videos, unboxings, comic book hauls, and I also do new comic book day reviews, and that happens every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, so if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And now, without further ado, let's open up these packs. So I was out and about just shopping like a regular day, and I happen to be in a different area, and I've never really been to this Walmart. Most of the Walmarts in my area don't have these comics, but I said screw it, checked it out, and they had some. They had some awesome exclusive covers, so I picked them up, and I realized, like, you know, I'm wondering what's really in these, because I had a few at home, I've never opened them, and I'm thinking there's got to be something good in them. So I picked up a few more, and I've accumulated a nice little set, and let's open them up. First up today, Amazing Spider-Man 33. It's an Alex Ross cover. That's obviously the reason I got it. You know I love Alex Ross's artwork. So I'm hoping this is, you know, pretty good stuff. So of course, top issue, the whole reason I bought it. It's going to be right there, Amazing Spider-Man 33. Still haven't looked at the second one, but we have Original Sin number two variant. This is a gorgeous cover. Look at that. It's actually a pretty good run, too. It wasn't the best, but it was an interesting read. It led to a lot of different things in Marvel, so pretty cool. And now the final issue, we have Avengers 672. It's one of those cool, like, hologram covers. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I know there's a specific name for these types of things, so I don't know. But overall, it really wasn't too bad of a pack. I mean, obviously, Original Sin number two, I don't have number one, but I love this cover. This is awesome. This book, I don't really care, but getting that Alex Ross cover with this variant, I'd say it's pretty worth it. Not too bad. So moving on to the next pack, I grabbed this one because it's Outlawed number one. If you know what this is, this is the first appearance of Cradle. In my opinion, I think this is going to be a pretty big like group of people. They're against the teen groups. They don't think teens should be heroes. And I think Cradle might be here for a little bit. So this is obviously the first cover right there. Next up, we have Strike Force number two. I don't really care about that. I'm not reading the series. I'm not even sure if it's still ongoing or not, but the final issue we have, Occupy Avengers number three. That is a pretty weak set in my opinion. I don't really care about any of those books, but I guess in the grand scheme of it, getting this first issue of Outlawed number one, it's exclusive and it's a first appearance. I'd say that makes it worth the money. These other two books, I don't really care about them. This next one though, I picked it up because I love Thor, I love Donny Cates, I think this is a great series so far, and I collect these number ones as well, so I'm hoping this one has some pretty good stuff in it too. So, first issue, we have, obviously, Thor number one. Issue number two, we have Marvel Comics 1001. That's a really cool cover, I really like that. I'm not reading, yeah, I didn't even read the Marvel Comics 1000, but... I think that's cool. And the final issue we have Amazing Spider-Man 28. I think it said it's a second printing. I mean, it was that's an okay group, I guess. Nothing too crazy. I guess I mainly got it for the Thor, but the other issues not really worth it. So, I'd say two out of the three packs were pretty bad so far. This one though, Spider-Verse number one. I bought this strictly for this issue. If you know what that is, it's the first appearance of Spider-Zero. We don't know her identity yet. There's a lot of people that are speculating that it's Miles' baby sister, Billy Morales, who I also think is going to play a big part someday. 
So I would stock up on her first appearance, which is in the new run, issue 13. And I would grab this one as well. So obviously, first issue, Spider-Verse. Great issue to own, great cover. Next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 9, second printing. Man, there's a, there's a lot of ASM in this. No wonder. The run is terrible. They're just sticking them in here. Next up, we have Mr. and Mrs. number 1, variant edition. Nothing too crazy. Not another good pack. Another one where it's, I've literally bought it for this top issue, and I think this top issue alone makes the whole pack worth it. But these two books, I don't care about them. Gonna be honest. Next up, very happy about both of these. These were just like sitting by themselves. These are ones that I picked up the other day. Two of the Venom 25s. You know this is big. Everyone is selling this right now. So let's see if there's anything good in these packs. Obviously, first one, we have the Venom 25. After that, we have Fantastic Four, number one, variant edition. It's actually a pretty cool cover. I like it. It's a second printing though, but it's still a variant, and I don't have that issue anyway, so it's probably a good one to read. And now for the final issue, it's another one of these holographic ones. We have the Avengers 13, or Avengers Champions 13. It's a cool looking cover, not really anything special, don't really care about it. Another one, I basically got it for that top issue, so I'm hoping this one is better. This is the last pack that I grabbed, and so far, I feel like this has been a pretty big letdown, I'm gonna be honest. So, first issue, obviously another Venom 25. I'll show that cover off. Next up, we have Fantastic Four, number 13, second printing, week. And then we have, for the final issue, Powers of X, 6 of 6, uh, I guess it's just a variant, I don't know, but another just weak issue, man, I'll put this one up, I'll show that one off a little bit, I actually do think this run was pretty decent, I'm not a huge X-Men fan as a lot of you know, but it was alright, so overall I think this was pretty bad purchases I guess, I guess people really do just buy them for that top cover, because I'd say out of all of these, I think the only issues worthwhile are the ones that were on the top. I got two Venoms out of it, so two Venom 25s. I'm just going to put that one here. Spider-Verse number one, that's a first appearance. And if you didn't already know, this one I'm pretty positive ends the Venom Island arc. So kind of big to some people, it's an arc ender. But first appearance of Spider-Zero in this one. This is just the brand new issue of Thor with Donny Cates run. So. Could be a big issue, nothing really big happened in it in my opinion. So those were very big to me. And then Outlawed, number one. That is a huge issue in my opinion. First appearance of Cradle, as I was saying earlier. I think Cradle's going to be here to stay for a little bit. They're in the Miss Magnificent Marvel. I think that's what that new run's called. And they're also in the Miles Morales run currently. So, you know, their presence is known. And then they just came out with the Champions run as well. That has some potential too, only because of Cradle. So... Not too bad. And then I guess out of all of these issues, well, I have this one too. Really happy with that one, the Alex Ross artwork. And then from all of the other ones, I think the only worthwhile one that I really like is this Original Sin. I think that cover is gorgeous. But other than that, I really don't think I got anything that special. I'm pretty happy with the Fantastic Four though. It's a number one. I don't have it to begin with. And I guess at that same rate, Mr. and Mrs. X, cool. All these other ones, though, two ASM, second prints, Marvel Comics, 1001, and an Occupy Avengers, number three, Strike Force, number two, and then another Avengers, 672, and I don't know, it's a holographic one. I can't read it too well. I'd say overall, the reason people are buying these off and only showing the top cover is because that's like the only issue worthwhile. And I don't think I'm going to be buying these again. I think if I can find more with like these nice covers that I specifically want, and I feel like it's worth it. Like I was looking for a Strange Academy one, couldn't find it. That one's obviously a huge one right now. I do have a copy of the Walmart one, but I want another one. So after seeing this, 
I'm just going to have to say it. I don't think these are worth the money unless if you specifically really want that top issue because don't get your hopes up. There's probably not going to be anything else in these packs. So now it's your turn. What do you guys think of these packs? Are they worth it? Do you really only buy these for the covers? Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. And with that, if you did like my video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, hit the subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content because you won't regret it. And I've got two other videos of my content over here. Make sure you click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. So have a good day.